South Norwood Recreation Ground is a spacious public park which is only a very brief walk away from Norwood Junction train station. Most new visitors to the area probably wouldn't even know it's there, so I wanted to draw attention to it because I think it's a pretty good park, and in this video you'll find out why. So first of all, where is it and why could you potentially miss it altogether? Assuming you're coming from Norwood Junction Station, out of the station road exit, you'll find yourself on a very wide road that leads onto the main high street of South Norwood. You'd be naturally tempted to go up the street towards the shops that you can see in the distance, but then you would walk past South Norwood Recreation Ground entirely. You'd need to turn left at Hollywood Star Nails and go down Car Green Road all the way to the end. On the way, you'll pass Aldi and a very vibrant looking blue house. You can also access the park via two other entrances, one on Selhurst Road and the other on Tennyson Road. So now you know where it is, what does this park have to offer? The park provides 14 acres of open space. The layout comprises a large field that is encircled by a footpath. At intervals along the footpath, you will find a trim trail. In other words, exercise stations. These include It's a great spot for a run, especially if you're into counting how many laps you've done, and you could always add in a bit of circuit training at the exercise stations along the way. If you enter from Car Green Road and follow the footpath right, you will come to a public tennis court and two multi-use games areas. These can be used for five-side football or basketball games. Both of these are owned and operated by Croydon Borough Council. The tennis courts have to be booked online to use, but the multi-use games areas are free to use whenever it's open. A popular feature of South Norwood Recreation Ground is the skate park. This skate park is tucked behind the tennis courts and game area. It's a nice collection of street ledges with a taco shaped quarter pipe at one end and a normal one at the other end. A selection of ledges including a small pier 7 pad and a small hubba ledge. These are all built by a company called Wheelscape. This is a popular place for skateboarders, inline skaters and BMX riders to hone their skills and try out new tricks. If we continue to follow the path anti-clockwise, we come to a colourful graffiti wall painted by some local children. You might find this a perfect backdrop for taking a selfie for the gram. Continuing around, we come to a pretty sizeable playground, where you have plenty of space to run around and lots of space in between the different equipment. The equipment includes baby swings, swings for older children, an obstacle course, two climbing frames with slides and a couple of things that spin around. The park is home to an annual South Norwood Community Festival, SNCF for short. SNCF was formed in 2011 in response to the need for a local community festival to include everyone. They are a not-for-profit group and all the organisers are volunteers and unpaid. The money raised is invested back into the festival for the following year. If you're interested in volunteering at the festival, you can find more details in the description below. The festival raises funds for St Christopher's Hospice and the Oasis Charitable Trust. The festival brings you some of Croydon's finest live bands, food, drink, arts and crafts and children's entertainment. Last year the festival had over 8,000 visitors and over 70 stall holders. Last year's stall holders included chocolatiers, hot dogs, tacos, pie and mash, slushies, candy floss, ice cream, vegan treats, through to some amazing fashion, arts and craft stalls. The stalls also include Croydon charities and many South Norwood community groups, as well as a number of rides and children's fun activities. This year it's happening on Sunday the 2nd of July from 11am to 7pm. And if you've not already visited South Norwood Recreation Ground, the South Norwood Community Festival is a great excuse to visit.